In this week's episode of Working With Todoist, it's all about managing your support materials. Hello and welcome to episode 120. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how to separate your support materials from your tasks. Now I have been going on about hard edges both in my blog posts and my working with work series of videos recently and it keeps coming up whenever I talk to my clients or wherever I talk to a lot of the questions that come up on this channel is about how to separate both your task that tell you what to do and the support material that basically tells you how to do it or at least gives you the information that you need in order to do the task. Now I am a strong believer that you need to keep the two separate because if you put all your support materials together with your tasks in one application, whilst it might appear on the surface to be more efficient, it actually starts to make your to-do list manager, in this case Todoist, become very, very untidy. Now when that happens, that's when you stop using Todoist to help you and you start not wanting to look at Todoist on a daily basis. And that is when you start to become very unproductive and procrastination will start creeping in. This is why I strongly believe that you need to keep the two separate. Support materials go into your notes application, Evernote or OneNote or whatever note application you are using. And your tasks go into your to-do list manager, in this case Todoist. And I've got a video, to, that what I'm gonna show you today is how to separate the two. And I should say, before we get into this, that I have covered this in a previous episode before, linking Evernote and Todoist together. But I feel that I've got a better way of showing you in this week's episode, so I'm gonna sort of repeat that. But it's also regarding the theme that I've been following over the last couple of weeks, which is to separate the two completely and hopefully today I will finally put this one to bed and sort of show you why it is so important. But the key issue here is you don't want your Evernote to become untidy, you don't want Evernote to have so many tasks in there that you just do not want to look at it. And I keep saying Evernote and I actually mean Todoist. So you don't want to be not wanting to look at Todoist. You just need to be able to glance at Todoist, it tells you what to do. Yes, I've got all the materials I need to do those tasks and you get straight into it. That's why it is really important to keep these hard edges. And today I'm gonna to show you how to link the two together so that it's seamless and it means that you can get straight into your work. So for example, uh, the example I've got here, which is uh, continue preparing annual business plan presentation. All you need to do is click on the task and it will take you straight to your notes and you can get cracking on the presentation. Okay, before we move on, don't forget if you like this video to like the video down below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and finally, if you haven't subscribed, or should I say, if you haven't enrolled on my beginner's, beginner's guide to getting yourself organized or getting organized, then please enroll in that course today. I really want to help you guys to become super productive, super organized, because it does lead you to a completely stress-free life. Okay, let's get into this and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Right, so here we are in a sample project and I've got two, pro two, um, <coughs> two tasks in here called Jim and also continue working on 2008 annual brand plan. That's what ABP means, presentation. Okay, so that's the task, continue working on the 2008 annual brand plan presentation. Now, what I've done is I've put all the notes relating to this brand plan 
in my Evernote notes. So as you can see here, I've got the date of presentation, which is Thursday, the 7th of September. I've got the outline. This is what I actually want to uh, cover in the presentation. So this essentially is the different sections of the presentation. Uh, I've got a sample uh, screenshot of a Excel file here and if I double click on that uh, I can play around I can make it bigger actually I, I can edit that file but what I want to do is you can actually zoom in or zoom out so I can zoom in and zoom out of that and then let's say for example we had a meeting on Monday the 26th of August and uh, in this particular present uh, meeting Jim said he would get the last year's PowerPoint file to me by Monday the 28th of August uh, me to create the 2008 presentation file and need to finish the PowerPoint file by Monday the 4th of September. So basically all my notes in here. Now, the way I personally develop presentation files, I would actually have a few sketches of ideas for slide design, but uh, that's going beyond the scope of this particular episode. So I have this note in here. This is all my details. And then I have the task detailed here. So this is telling me what to do. Over here is all the information I need in order to do that task. And this is essentially what I've meant over the last couple of weeks when I've been talking about having hard edges between your different device, different applications. Because I could, of course, add all this information in here. And that's fine. And also I can actually use here, I can link to a document in my Dropbox or in my Google Drive and that is absolutely fine I could do that but the problem I have here is that Todoist is a task manager it's a to-do list so this is about what I need to do Evernote on the other hand and it doesn't matter whether you use Evernote or you use OneNote or any other kind of note taking application these are ideal for keeping all your notes now the way I like to look at Evernote in this situation is that Evernote is my playground it doesn't matter what I dump in here this is just reference material so it doesn't matter how untidy this note looks it's just as long as it's got the key information that I want for my presentation that I am going to make. What matters in Todoist is Todoist is telling me what I need to work on next. And that is the key difference between keeping the, this is one of the main reasons why we need to keep hard edges between our various applications. So how am I gonna link this task, continue working on 2008 annual brand plan presentation, to this note and this is one of the reasons why I use Evernote because it is just so useful in this situation what we do is we come over here and I know before anyone says haven't you covered this before well I did cover this a long time ago but because I've been talking about hard edges I really wanted to recover it to show you a little bit more detail how this works so what we do is we come over to this uh, part of the thing let's make this a bit wider so we come over to this part here the the actual note part, so not the note itself, but the the sidebar, the middle sidebar, or the second sidebar. Hit the control button and click. And then down here you can copy note link. Now, I am pretty certain that the next step I'm going to take is not available on Windows. So I'm apologizing now for all of you Windows users out there. I don't think the next step is available. But for all you Mac users out there, all you need to do now is click on the option key. And if you notice, when you click on tap the option key, it says copy classic note link. Now, it doesn't matter if you copy the note link. This is just going to give you a URL directly to the website version of Evernote. And that might be perfectly OK for you to do the work. So there's no major problem there. But I just find this next step, when you click the option key and copy classic note link, so I'm gonna click that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my Evernote. Now, sorry, to do this. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put these in brackets first. And I'll exp it just makes things a little bit easier if you put those in brackets first. And then I'm gonna hit the space and make sure the space, I'm gonna paste that URL in there. Now look what's actually happened to this note. Now I've got continue working on 2008 ABP presentation. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to close my Evernote. So it's closed. 
I'm going to go back to my to do list. Now, what's going to happen now is when I click on this, this is going to open up directly, as you can see from this uh, URL. And there I was pointing to this, but I can actually zoom in here. So let's zoom in here. As you can see, when I tap on that, that's showing me Evernote double dot forward slash forward slash forward slash. That's not going to open up on the web. That's going to open up in my Evernote application. And really good news for all you use, uh, mobile users out there, that works on, I, I know for sure that works on iPad and it works on your iPhone. So when I click on that now, it's going to ask me, do you want to open the page? I'm going to allow. It's going to open up this in Evernote. And what it's done is it's actually opened up just the note. So I don't have any interference from my other notes in Evernote. It just opens up the note directly in Evernote. And that is one of the beauties of setting up a link to the task in Evernote. Now, I know you can do this in OneNote. I'm not sure if you can copy the classic note link in OneNote. Again, it might open up on the web. That to me doesn't really matter because it's just reference. If this task is telling me continue working on 2008 ABP plan, it doesn't matter whether I'm working on the web or whether I'm working within the application. I don't really mind either way. So that's what I really wanted to show you is, again, let me repeat. And I know it's probably getting very boring for you guys now, but let me repeat. This is why it is so useful to have hard edges between all your applications. It keeps your Todoist nice and clean and it keeps Todoist doing what it's meant to do, which is to tell you what to do next. Evernote, on the other hand, is telling you what you need. Uh, it gives you all the information you need in order to complete that task. So let me back open up in Evernote again and just go full screen. So usually I would actually be working from this view and then on this screen, I would have my, sorry, my <laughs> computer's been doing updates. Give up, Microsoft. So it's been updating the application. So I would then have my presentation file. I actually use Keynote, but I would have my Keynote file open and I would be working directly from this note. When I finished, because this is likely to be, I would actually have this as a, uh, until it's done. So I would have that every day. Uh, and let's say I've done that. I can click that off. This is in my sample project and now it's due to come up for tomorrow. So that's how I use the two together. It keeps my Evernote, my Todoist nice and clean and Evernote acts as my playground for ideas and notes and everything else. Okay, hopefully you got a lot out of this particular episode. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask a comment in the comment section below. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.